Okay, when I, when I heard about this, I was, I was reading this book by, uh, called Destination Borg by James Elroy, and he, he's written, a, he's written um, and did a screenplay for a movie called L.A. Confidential. And I thought, if there's ever a bad and challenged book, it should be this one. But I did my research, no such thing. But it should be banned and challenged for bad language and the dark nature of its subject matter. James Elroy likes to write about um, um, the dark side of L.A. culture, and, I, and that's a subject that's near and dear to my heart. And, um, and he, uh, he, write, he writes a bit about, he writes a lot about crime, and in this particular segment, he is, um, he is making comment, as a lot of L.A. writers like to do, making comment about celebrities, and this particular cel celebrity was a, was a person in the 1990s named Robert Blake. And the title of this and Robert Blake was accused of a, of a capital crime. This was kind of in the time of O.J. Simpson, accused of a capital crime. And um, the title of the, uh, of the story is called Little Sleezer and the Male Sex Mama. Robert Blake is Little Sleezer, and uh, in here he's commenting on Robert, um, Little Sleezer's acting chops. Little Sleezer is an actor. All actors are fucked up. They are their art. <laughs> Their gift is impersonation. It's non-meditative art. The goal is to become something you're not. The goal entices narcissism. The cessation itself bodes warm. It's a riff on Woody Allen's line, my one regret is that I'm not someone else. Good actors impersonate across a wide character plane. Their mental gifts and neuroses, neuroses mesh. Bad actors run with their egos unchecked. They rage effusive and grotesque. Successful bad actors tailor their personas to the media marketplace. They possess physical grace and outside presence. They need to, ma they need to manif impress manifest as dynamism. Their effusiveness stops short of desperation. Their grotesquerie seduces more than repels. They become themselves hyperbolized and repackaged for large and small screens. Successful bad actors push one creative envelope. Their drive is conscious and unconscious and ruled by casting call nods. Successful bad actors find roles that allow them to be themselves and exploit their off-screen potential. Little Sleezer plays killers. He plays them with hand-bone humanity and the requisite reptile rage. He chewed scenery as Perry Smith in, in, in a cold blood, sawed off Sir from Smith, Sawed off Serpent Smith had an abusive father. Little Sleezer copped the same. His performance was, was silly symbiosis. It's all ties and mugs and squints and goofball grins. He rec it recalls real life rodent Charles Schmidt, the Pied Piper of Tucson. Schmidt killed teenage girls in the 60s. He was short, dark, and narcissistic. He wanted to be an actor. He wore eyeshadow. He jammed tin cans in his boots and boosted his heights. His height. The end. <laughs>